All right, all right, I'm coming. Are you sleeping? It took 25 minutes. They're putting a Carvana over there. Like a Carvana, like you see in the commercial, you put your little token in and your car comes down out of like a vending machine. Is that cool? What do you guys think of Carvana? I don't know, I think that kind of takes the uh, the soul out of car buying. But anyways guys, we are following 10-4 JB in his big rig right there. Um, he has to take it out for service. So hey, you know what? Guess I'm gonna be a nice guy and uh, go pick him up when he drops it off. But I'm driving his truck. Yeah, this is his F-150. I don't know what he has to get done to that truck, just some service stuff, I guess, but uh, let's go. You get her? You get her yeah. dropped off? What are you doing with that bottle right there? Don't bring it in here. What are you eating? Where are we at? Starbucks. Starbucks. Brakes are squeaking. Four, one. Five, I know. Alright, thank you, sir. Ten seven. Uh, the two, um, two seven, I think. Sorry. Do you need a drink carrier? Uh, no thanks. Yep. And your cold brew, extra sweet cream. All righty, thank you, sir. All right, one. Have a good one. Dude, did you see him? <laughs> he like, he thought he was on like undercover vlog or something. <laughs> so he was being like, he was being like real cool with the camera, you know, like <laughs> holding the drinks right, like fixing his shirt. A plus for Starbucks. You win the day. <laughs> Alrighty guys, now that we are done with that, let's talk about this new 7.3 liter in the Ford lineup. I actually ran into a guy the other day at the gas station and says, Hey man, I like your truck. Did you hear they're bringing back the 7.3 liter Power Stroke? I said, well, uh, they are bringing the 7.3 back, but it in fact is not a diesel, it is a gasser. So there definitely is some confusion on the 7.3 being a diesel. It's not a diesel. It's a big old gas motor, push rod, big block engine. So now let's talk about the 2020 Power Stroke. If you guys are new to the channel, I am driving a 2017 6.7 liter Power Stroke F250. Um, absolutely love the truck, it's killer. So throughout 17 to 19 in the Power Stroke, there wasn't too much changes, minimal, minimal things. But in fact, for 2020, they're coming out with a bunch of new updates in the Power Stroke engine. Now, body wise, there is not too many things really happening. I'll put a picture right here. Um, so you can see the front grill and the lights are a little different. They did a little bit with the bumper, um, but you know, exterior wise, very, very similar. There's speculation, and I did see in a video that the uh, front end grill allows for more air induction, so better cooling. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. That's what they're saying, but um, I mean, there is bigger vents on each side by the headlight, so maybe. I don't know. All right, so let's talk about this engine. There is actually a lot of updates in the engine. So from the outer shell, everything will appear to be the same, but everything is pretty much enhanced internally. Um, except for the intake manifold, they're going from the plastic junk thing that they have on here now to a cast intake manifold. Um, so internally in the engine, you're gonna have enhanced cylinder heads, a enhanced block, and enhanced connecting rods and bearings. So before we dive into the engine further, there is gonna be an updated VGT turbo. I'm not sure on the actual sizing yet. They haven't released any of those details details yet and also you're gonna have a redesigned high pressure fuel system so you're gonna have a redesigned high pressure fuel pump which would be like your CP4 so they're speculating you know 36,000 psi fuel system um, all new injectors all new everything for that which is gonna allow for a lot more efficiency and more power 
the power increase speculated speculated from the uh, improved fuel system is about a 40 horsepower gain and about 80 on the torque side gain so to deal with this more power you're gonna have updated cylinder heads an updated block and updated connecting rods and rod bearings um, along with that you're gonna have new steel pistons which are gonna be a low friction piston which is a smaller piston and it will allow for the higher cylinder pressure which is gonna come from more power but guys, with all of these updates internally in the engine and with the fuel system, the 6.7 in stock platform should be more capable than any power stroke ever before. Um, so I am very excited to see what can be done modification wise with the new 2026.7 power stroke. Hopefully we can talk Dan down at SPE into ordering a new 2020 where we can do some uh, cool tests. Okay, so to go along with the engine, they are, in fact, doing a new 10-speed transmission. Now, it is rumored and speculated that this transmission is the exact same as the 10-speed Allison. Um, Ford just put torque shift on it, and Chevy just put Allison on it for licensing purposes, but I don't know the really in-depth details on that. That seems speculated. But obviously, Ford took theirs and designed it for their truck, and Chevy took theirs and designed it for their truck. So with adding four gears from the six speed to the 10 speed, they only gained about like three pounds and it's just a smidge big. It fits in there just like the uh, torque shift six speed would do, which you can still get the six speed. Um, they just have the uh, 10 speed option for, you know, higher decked out models and, you know, different powertrain options if you'd want to go with the 10 speed transmission. They're saying it's going to tow a whole lot better considering that the Chevys and the Dodges both have over 35,000 payload gooseneck towing, which is that's that's crazy. That's a that's so much weight for a you know like regular pickup. I know it's going to be a 3500 dually one ton, but um, this is still like a regular truck. To have a 35,000 pound gooseneck trailer behind you is a lot of weight. Pulling it should be no problem. It's stopping, controlling, turning, and just managing all that weight back there is is my concern. They haven't really released any details. They haven't released the uh, power output of a 7.3. They haven't released the power output on the 6.7 they haven't released their tow specs but it is speculated that this new 6.7 power stroke could reach the 500 horsepower mark and definitely over the thousand torque mark so i can definitely see ford doing something where they're going to top both of those with not only horsepower ratings but tow specs also but the details that they gave us with the new high pressure fuel system which is definitely a power increase um, all the updated engine internals to allow for power increasing the new 10 speed um, I definitely see them having, you know, class leading horsepower and torque and class leading gooseneck towing, which is pretty cool because honestly, right here, this 2017 F-250, I have just about 38,567 miles on the truck. I absolutely love this thing and would 100% buy another one. So let me know what you guys think about the new 2020 Power Stroke. Um, do you think it's going to be cool? Also, what do you think of the new 7.3 gas? That's that's pretty sweet. Do you think there's going to be any cool uh, swaps coming in? But all right, guys, that... Oh, dude, I'm stepping on my glasses. But all right, guys, that is my perspective on the new 2020 Power Stroke. Um, I'm super excited to see what these things can do modification-wise. Obviously, I'm not really into leaving things stock, as you can see my truck here. I'm running our kind of put-together uh, Stage 1 kit here, which puts down just over 600 wheel horsepower to the rear wheels. If you guys are interested in doing something like this to your truck, hit the link in the description and check it out. But that is it. I'm done rambling. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the Modern Diesel family. Follow me on Instagram at Modern Diesel Corey. I'm out here doing some donuts in this muddy parking lot because it's rainy and nasty and it's 30 degrees and I don't know what else to do with my life. Um, I'm just winging it. But all right, guys, as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.